director, members and staffs, my brother, uh, Dharma brother, sisters, for this warm welcome. And I would also like to say this is a very special place for me, first of all, because this is my um, Guru Capture Lama Zopar and Richie Center. And secondly, is I, had, I think um, I feel there's a lot of connection to this place because Geshe Lama Kunchuk's, um, one of the main pra deity of practice is High Giver. And um, I had received the secret High Giver initiation from Lama Zopa Rinpoche, Captain Lama Zopa Rinpoche in Sarah, which is also a special place because the main uh, deity there is also High Giver. And a fun fact, my uh, animal sign is a horse. Mm. A kind heart for young people. Uh, just, um, I think the best way is just to tell, um, just to raise them up properly so that they don't harm, like, give them the right uh, environment to learn how to be kind. So maybe teach them like the 16 guidelines. So just to play some games with them related to Dharma. It's so like a card game and asking them a like, situation or how to, how to be kind, for example. So through uh, interactive ways. So anything else? Yes? Of course, because this prayer... Of course, because the prayers we're doing right now is for all sentient beings, so they're always included. Of course, yes. Well, my main point is looking at your past and future. That's not important. The important part is thinking about the present, what, um, thinking about what you're doing right now, so you can concentrate on being, um, having the right motivation, right thought. So, thinking about sometimes thinking about too much about future and past would this just is part of distraction as well. So you have to think about the uh, present. Mm, the best thought to have is that um, we shouldn't have fear because Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are everywhere around us. And with them, we shouldn't be afraid because, and we should have the right thoughts thinking, um, what would fear bring? It would bring nothing, just a distraction, a negative emotion. Every time you think, oh, Bodhisattvas and Buddhas around me, why should I be afraid? I should do more important stuff, like thinking about benefiting. And also if it's the fear is a an creature, or it could be a creature or a human being, then you should think, oh, um, then you should, you should be thinking, um, rather than having fear for them, you should have compassion and, and the right thought to them. Um, this is just an advice, so I'm not sure if it is 100% effective, but I think it is. Um, you have to make them have a connection to Dharma by, for example, reciting mantras to them, Man reciting mantras, giving them, going around stupas, just having the right imprint. So in next life, they could be born as a human again, and then they can uh, learn the Dharma properly. Best way is to have a calm mind, thinking, okay, so just think about your gurus, your gurus, and have the right motivate, invite thoughts, like having general saying that um, if I die, saying there's nothing to fear, just, you just have to be calm and think about your gurus, think about the good motivations and stuff. So you should always um, have the right motivation anytime at any time, so even during death. Can you tell us about what you've been studying the last couple of years? Oh, I've been studying the normal academics subjects that most kids learn, like science, maths, English, <laughs> history, geography, those stuff. Did you pass your exam? Uh, yes. <laughs> Never failed. <laughs> what is your favorite subject? Your favorite? Math. Math and philosophy. Yeah. Uh, I think I used to remember when I was five years old, but since then I'm not really sure. <laughs> 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 the 
the memories are strongest when, when you're f uh, one till five. And then after that, mine get diluted a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I think um, to detach from the attachment is to think, is to have the thought that everything is impermanent. Nothing can last uh, la last forever. So you just have this thought saying, so, oh, I shouldn't get attached to this too much. I mean, it's a bit of attachment saying that, oh, um, you, li uh, you like the dog, for example. Then that's okay. You have kindness to the dog. But don't get attached to it because you have always have to think that nothing can last forever. Me, for example, I will die any time. I'm not really sure when, but any time. You, you just have to think that attachment, try to make it into more of a kindness, generosity to that animal. Kindness, um, having the, and also thinking that the animal, you, you should have the motivation that, oh, um, I shouldn't get too attached. Also, I will have to pray, um, pray to the animal as well with some mantras so that they have a good uh, rebirth. How do we use the wisdom? How we use the, is your question, how we, do we use the wisdom so we don't get overwhelmed by the... Yes, by the pain, the suffering, the Well, like, the antidote should be like, uh, should be kindness. This does the antidote, so you, you have, must always have the motive um, saying, don't get the, the side of suffering overwhelm you more, than, um, more, like, um, more than that. Um, otherwise, I mean, how do, you, how do I put it in? Mm, just don't make that happen and change it into ca generating compassion to them. Un and not suffering, generate compassion to them so that if they have, if they have suffered, may the suffering be, um, go away. And uh, if they are, if they're passed away, pray for them to have a better rebirth. That's a better way of um, relating to that kind of um, situation more than just harming, um, just harming your mind. Because, so yeah, overwhelm framing. Just make it overwhelming compassion and kindness. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Study hard. Don't get distracted. <laughs> Study hard, don't get distracted. Prayers don't, you have to, in this sense, you don't rely on prayers saying, oh, I, I want to pray today that I get 100% the next test. That won't work. You have to, <laughs> prayers do work a bit, but, but mostly you have to use your own effort. Effort and prayers. Then, okay. Um, let me think. Um, I think it's best to be practical, saying that you have to use, um, be, um, recite. It's more not just prayers or this kind of stuff. You have to be practical. You have to put in action to to make the world better, in the in to stop those kind of environmental um, what's called that problems, problems happening. Yeah, I just forgot <laughs> environmental problems happening, but. Uh, recycling stuff, recycling those things that you, and then don't waste food, don't waste paper. Just um, be, go green. <laughs> <laughs> like green tire. <laughs> it is possible if, ev if uh, oneself takes part in it, take, uh, use effort. Because unity is not possible if some of the people they don't uh, put effort into helping and effort into putting th at least a bit of thought into it. So to make this work, everyone has to take part in it. Everyone has to put effort and ha needs to think about it, at least think about it. Best to take, to put action. Oh, if you have physical restrictions, it's um, best to, because you can just have the motivation and you have to, doesn't have to be that you have you have to use your body. You can use your mind. Think about the benefits of for sentient beings. And if it's restriction, you can't go to a certain place. Uh, you can always um, get find an alternative. Alternative. An alternative. I mean by um, you can always do um, 
charities and other kind of stuff if you want that, that you can't even go to if you can't go to the place. Well, it's not um, if you don't like the person doesn't um, if they're nice to you but you don't like them. Well, you sh you need always have the motivate the thought that they are human. Yeah, they are humans, and you always have always have to think. Um, do they like being not liked? For example, if you, somebody didn't like you, would you feel bad? So you always have to think, have this in your mind. Think of the other person. If they would feel bad, if you, if you, th if you don't really like, uh, show an action, you don't really like them. And also you need to practice patience as well. Just um, if you have to be with that person, have um, patience and yeah. Of course, um, since um, you don't need to oh, always have to go to temples and that kind of stuff if you want to d practice Dharma, you can practice Dharma anytime, anywhere. If you're helping your family, that's Dharma. If you're helping your friends, that's Dharma. If you, with, with the motivation and the thought that for the, for the benefit of the other sentient being, that is Dharma. So you can do Dharma anywhere, anytime. Like doing your sleep, you can do Dharma while you're driving, anytime. There's no restriction to, where, to how you practice Dharma and where you practice Dharma. Mm. Well, you just have to change the way they think. To change the way, if you change the way you think, automatically you change the way you act. So you have to think that, um, same thing as the other question, um, you have just have to think, if you're being mean to the person, who are you helping? You're helping no one. You're not even helping yourself. If you, um, if you can't think that, oh, um, I, if I do this to the other person, the other person won't be happy, at least think for yourself. If you uh, make the other person uh, um, unhappy, you're not helping yourself as well. You're just harming yourself as well. Yeah. Mm, I think it's to give them the right uh, example. That's the main thing. Give the right example to, to those. Because a kid... Uh, they can be easily changed, you see. So um, if the environment c uh, is not good, the kid may be affected. So you have to give them a good, a good Dharma environment, good positive, um, uh, positive deeds around it. So the kid sees, uh, sees that this is happening, so they will um, think automatically they would think uh, that is right, and they will do it. Just a good environment. Also, you can do some interactive activities with them because kids, they like interesting stuff. Um, as I said, um, you shouldn't think too much about the past. You should think about the past and you have to think, um, do too, not too much. You have to think about it saying, okay, that's my mistake. Now I have to change it and I have to put my precautions into it. So, you have, so, so first is to realize what's your problem. That, I mean, the accident could be caused by one, some reasons. Find what's the reason. Second, find the antidote. Third, prevent it from happening. And don't let the fear go into you. Because fear doesn't help anyone. Don't